Thanks for checking out Acoustic Alternatives. I'm John Bomarito, looking at the best of 2022, and four albums had the exact same score and all tied as the number three album of the year. So there is no four, five, or six album of the year. Uh, coming in at number three, we heard from May Earlywan's album, Tiny Beautiful Things. May released another excellent piece of work. Looking forward to next year's release because we've already heard a few of these songs at her live shows, if we've been to her live shows, well, including one that I thought was going to be on this record that I absolutely love. But for now, we heard Could Have Been, Changing, and Easy from the album Tiny Beautiful Things. Matt Nathanson coming to the Ark to support his album Boston Accent. He's already played the Royal Oak Music Theater, a much larger venue, where he redid his album Some Mad Hope Live and performed some songs from Boston Accent. That Ark show must be sold out. I don't even need to look. I'm sure it's sold out with opening act Stephen Kellogg, who we heard from earlier in the countdown. The album called Boston Accent includes the songs Beginners, Futures Here, and German Cars. Another excellent piece of work from Matt. And that's another album tied at number three, by the way. Coming in at number seven, because there, as I mentioned, no four, five, or six when you have a tie of the same score, James Bay and his album Leap. We used to shine, give me the reason, and one life from that album. All right, we're heading towards number one on this countdown. I'm feeling like Casey Kasem for a second here. And two more albums tied at number three, including the album released called Open the Road by the band We Banjo 3. A little bit more Celtic style music in the countdown this year. Hummingbird from the album Open the Road continues the countdown. <laughs> 